Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another chat GPT update. You can now upload and analyze PDFs, spreadsheets, or basically any data file you want to work with. In addition, chat GPT plus will allow you to access all of its features such as web browsing, data analysis, and DALI 3 automatically and without having to switch between them. That means you could, for example, upload an image and ask it to create a similar one, which wasn't possible previously. In this video, I'll show you how to activate and use these features. And of course, we'll check out out a few examples, so let's dive right in. To activate advanced data analysis, you must be a ChatGPT Plus user. Just go to settings and beta, then beta features, and you should see this new advanced data analysis feature. Enable it and try a version of ChatGPT that knows how to write and execute Python code um, that can work with file uploads. Try asking for help with data analysis, image conversions, or editing a code file. Well, let's test it out. I have this spreadsheet that contains data on a number of companies and the money they have raised. Let's drop this Excel file to ChatGPT and ask it to provide me with the list of companies that raised only between three and five million USD. By default, it is going to break down the structure of the file, the steps ChatGPT is taking to complete my request, and then I get my answer, the list of companies that raised between three and five mil, and if we go back to that spreadsheet, we'll see that the answer was correct. Those were exactly the companies that I asked about. So it worked well. It understood my request, analyzed the content of the spreadsheet, and provided me with the correct answer. Now let's test how it deals with PDFs. I have this PDF file, which is a short overview of blockchain technology, I'm going to drop this PDF file to ChatGPT and ask what is the conclusion of this PDF file. Again, it explains the steps it is taking to answer my request and here it is asking me if I'd like it to find and extract the conclusion section or provide a general summary of the document. Let's try to extract the conclusion section itself. It is analyzing and it says that identifying the exact location of the conclusion section might be challenging. Well, let's ask it to provide a general summary of the entire document instead. And it provides us with an overview of the key points discussed in the document. I am not completely satisfied with the result because ChatGPT could not identify the conclusion section. But if we go back to the document and search for a conclusion, there is actually a section which ChatGPT should have found. So yes, it is not perfect yet, but keep in mind it is a beta feature and it could still take some time to improve it. Uploading and working with files was only one part of the update. The second part was that this version of ChatGPT no longer requires selecting a model. It automatically chooses to start a web browser, run Python code, or use DALI 3 to generate images based on the description's requirements within a conversation. They are gradually rolling it out, so I personally don't have it yet, but I found a Threads user who does, and they shared some very nice examples. Let's check them out. In the first example, they uploaded an image and asked to provide an animated version of this as if it was a Pixar movie. ChatGPT analyzed the image and then automatically used DALI 3 to generate a requested image. You see, before this update, you couldn't upload and generate images in a single prompt because you had to select a tool, either default where you can upload images or DALI 3, which allows you to generate images. The same applies to web browsing. You couldn't generate an image using up-to-date information because ChatGPT could either browse the web or generate images, not both at the same time. Now it is all possible. Here's an example. Generate an image of the weather and time currently in Denver, Colorado. ChatGPT first uses web browsing to check the weather and time, then it automatically switches to DALI 3 to generate images based on that latest available data. This is really great, I cannot wait to start using it. Another example is including three requests in one prompt. First, we are asking it to search for and get data on the hurricane season of 2023 in the Atlantic, then make an infographic that represents hurricane category levels and hurricanes by their size. And lastly, generate an image based on what location it looks like a hurricane most likely might be in within the next year. ChatGPT uses three tools according to our request. It does that automatically 
automatically first web browsing, then DALI 3 to generate the first type of image, and then DALI 3 again to generate another type of image as was requested. That sounds really promising, although I am a bit skeptical about ChatGPT generating all these infographics because I have tested it a lot. By the way, check out my video where I tested DALI 3 within ChatGPT. And when it comes to infographics, it seems to me that DALI 3 is more concerned with the appearance of the art than with including any accurate information, especially when text is present in the generated infographics. All right, guys, infographic aside, uh, this update is a big deal. It's actually put a lot of startups out of business uh, that were using large language models to, you know, um, analyze PDFs, work with spreadsheets and so on. Automatic model selection also opens up a lot of opportunities. I can't wait. What's next? I will definitely cover all the useful stuff in my videos. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you like the video and I'll see you soon in the next one.